Little sisters usually love to be just like their big sisters. No. No. I'm not gonna eat any of this. But at the Four Frontier home, 15-month-old Bridget can't always enjoy the same things as her five-year-old big sister Kiva. Here. Is that like Nana's eggs? Here, a little toast. It is okay. just like Nana's eggs. Is that good for Bridgie? Bridget has allergies, but coming to that conclusion took some investigating from parents Mora and Patrick. We first realized that Bridget was probably having some sort of allergic reaction very early on. I was nursing her. She was only about a month, maybe two months old, and we took her to the doctor because she had a rash that wasn't getting better really all over her body. The four Fronteras were referred to an allergist who discovered Bridget had a severe food allergy to egg and a mild allergy to pet dander. Finding out that Bridget had the allergies, of course, worried me, especially given the severity of her egg allergy. So that's really nerve wracking. I'm what are you washing? I'm washing the egg pan, hun, and I'm trying to be careful not to splash egg around too much. Is that where you get it? When dealing with allergies, early diagnosis and management is critical. Experts say that children often outgrow their allergies if exposure to those particular allergens is controlled and managed from an early age. Ooh, that's warm water. It's almost like one allergic problem begets another one. And that's why it's so important to try to pre either prevent or manage allergies early in life. Can we wash your little hands? Since identifying the source of Bridget's allergies, Mora and Patrick have worked hard to remove from her diet and environment those items that trigger her allergies. But this posed a big problem when it came to their beloved family pets. We have two Labrador Retrievers, so when we discovered that Bridget had a mild allergy to dogs, obviously the first thing that went through our minds was, what are we going to do? Do we need to get rid of the dogs? Fortunately, Bridget's allergist feels that, that, that we can control that allergy if we're hypersensitive to being clean, if we keep the dogs shampooed on a regular basis, if we keep certain rooms um, dog-free. You want to pet Pippin? You can pet him. We'll just wipe your little hands after. You can pet him? Yes! Isn't that nice? Still, even with careful monitoring, helping your little one cope with the discomforts of having allergies takes time, attention, and lots of sensitivity. Good girl. This is going to help your eczema. The eczema that she has on her hands is the worst eczema on her body right now. We've been trying to combat it, but she loves to suck her little thumb. And so we have to cover her hands with a sock at night after we put the cream on so that she can't get her thumb in her mouth. Here's Bridget's hand. But sometimes she won't go to sleep after that. So it's, it's caused um, quite a bit of complication. It's gonna be night night time, okay? Armed with knowledge and tools to manage Bridget's allergies, the Ford Frontera family is able to stay healthy, enjoy delicious foods, and continue to create happy memories around the dinner table. That's your masterpiece. Yeah, you did it. Looks pretty good, huh? Pizza. Look good? Pizza. Pizza.